Mr. President, without yielding the floor, I'm uh, going to uh, allow a question from my colleague from Texas. Uh, I, I thank the senator from Kentucky. And, and I want to ask the following question. If the senator from Kentucky is aware of the reaction the American people have had to his extraordinary efforts today, and given that the Senate rules do not allow for the use of cellular phones on the floor of the Senate, I feel quite confident that the senator from Kentucky is not aware of the Twitter verse that has been exploding. So what I wanted to do for the senator from Kentucky is give some small sampling of the reaction on Twitter so that he might understand how the American people are responding to his courageous leadership, to Senator Paul's doing something that the last four years has happened far too little in this chamber, which is standing up and fighting for liberty. So I will read a series of tweets. So proud of Rand Paul standing up for what's right. Stand with Rand. Rand Paul, a reason to be proud of your elected representatives again. Keep going, Rand. Proud of Senator Rand Paul and all who have joined him in this effort. Stand today with Senator Rand Paul. So happy with Rand Paul right now. Someone finally using the system to aid, not usurp our rights. Rand Paul filibusters Brennan nomination. Over four hours now. Glad someone in the Senate has some spine. That was tweeted a while ago. <laughs> Rand Paul is my hero today. A man with backbone. Today... Rand Paul is my hero. Kentucky Senator Rand Paul is a true constitutional hero in his filibuster against CIA nominee. I can honestly say I am proud to currently live in Rand Paul's state of Kentucky. So proud of Rand Paul. He's bringing it. He's not going to let our Constitution get trashed. A breath of fresh air. Pray for this fight for Rand. I am so beyond proud of Rand Paul and the way he is standing up for each and every American citizen right now by filibustering the Senate. I am very proud of Senator Rand Paul. This is an important moment when one person had the courage to yell, stop, stand with Rand. So proud of Rand Paul. We need more like him. Stand with Rand. Rand Paul is now in hour seven of his filibuster. He is standing up for our rights. Thank you. Stand with Rand. It's frightening that Obama seeks to have an ever-growing amount of power. Drone strikes are frightening. Stand with Rand. Dear GOP, the base is crying out for more of you to stand with Rand. If you want the base, get it together. Stand with Rand. We need you now more than ever. This president has usurped power. We can't say anything bad against him. Stand with Rand. So long as Rand speaks, we'll be tuned in. It is unconstitutional to target and kill Americans on American soil with a drone. Stand with Rand. A retweet from Senator Rand Paul. I will commend the senator from Kentucky for being so flexible that he was able to tweet while standing on the floor of the Senate. And a retweet from Senator Rand Paul's tweet, I will not sit quietly and let President Obama shred the Constitution with the hashtags Fill a blizzard and stand with Rand. Here's a more mixed one, but nonetheless demonstrating the respect the senator from Kentucky is earning across the aisle. I may not always agree with Rand Paul, but he has my respect. He's very willing to do what he feels is right. Stand with Rand. From Congressman Justin Amash. Why won't President Obama simply state that it's unconstitutional and illegal for government to kill Americans 
in U.S. without due process. Stand with Rand. Stand with Rand because we deserve to know if American citizens should fear murder from our government. Everyone should be aware of this important moment in American history. Stand with Rand. Proud to call Rand Paul my senator. Stand with Rand. It is unconstitutional to target and kill Americans on American soil with a drone. Stand with Rand. The federal government does not have the power to kill its citizens whenever it wants. There's something called due process. Stand with Rand. Fight for our constitutional rights and liberties. Stand with Rand. Stand with Rand. I have gained a lot of respect for Senator Paul today. This is not a right or left issue. It is a civil liberties issue. Thank you, Rand Paul, and others who are taking a stand for patriotic Americans. A great day for liberty when Senator Rand Paul and a handful of others stood up for liberty. Stand with Rand. And it is ironic that a Nobel Peace Prize winner won't guarantee that he won't use drones against Americans. Stand with Rand. Now, I will note to the senator from Kentucky and ask his reaction to these. This is but a small sampling of the reaction in Twitter, indeed, in my office. I think the technical term for what the Twitterverse is doing right now is called blowing up. <laughs> and I would suggest to the senator from Kentucky and then ask, to ask his reaction, I would suggest that this is a reflection of the fact that the American people are frustrated. They're frustrated that they feel too, many, too few elected officials in Washington stand for our rights, are willing to rock the boat, are willing to stand up and say the Constitution matters. And it matters whether it's popular or not. It matters whether my party's in power or another party's in power. The Constitution matters. Our rights matter. And so many Americans, I think, are frustrated that they view elected officials as looking desperate to stay in power, desperate to be reelected, desperate to do everything except fight for the Constitution and fight for our liberties. And I think this outpouring that the senator from Kentucky is seeing is a reflection of that great frustration. And I join with the sentiments of these and many others on Twitter. And so I asked the senator from Kentucky if he was aware of this reaction and what his thoughts are to the many thousands more who I haven't been able to read their tweets and their words of encouragement as the senator from Kentucky, more than anyone, is standing with Rand. Well, um, uh, Mr. President, I'd like to uh, thank the senator from Texas for coming to the floor and cheering me up. I was getting kind of tired and... Uh, I appreciate uh, bringing news from the outside world. Uh, as you know, we're not allowed to have electronics on the floor, so uh, I don't really have much uh, knowledge of the electronic outside world, but actually it's probably a good thing for every American eventually not to see their phone or their computer for about eight hours. So, um, but, no, I think it, you know, the thing is, is that people think that we shouldn't, uh, you know, the, people are always saying, don't fight and don't, don't get along and stuff. I think people do want that, but they think that at the same time they want that and they want you to stand up for and stand for something and believe in something. And it doesn't have to mean that we do it in an acrimonious way. Even the senator from Illinois and I usually have uh, civilized words together. Uh, there's a smile.